J Dreamers, think outside the box. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jay Dreamers. Now I saw a picture of this online. So I had to come here to find out for myself, put my hands on it and see if indeed it was real. Now I'm here at this park where they actually have, the whole park is themed about a giant that once used to walk in these lands behind me. Um, they says, the story says that something happened and the sky became empty which is when I believe those ancient giant trees were all cut down and now you can see so much more of the sky in the background. Now, is this a real giant or titan's foot? Probably not. I've examined it very closely and it seems to, be have, seems to have been made out of concrete. While it's made out of cement, the truth behind it and the story behind the titan that once walked this particular area rings true. Not just because somebody made a cement image of it, but because there are so many stories that have been left over and left to us. While we don't dismiss these things because it's made out of concrete, we recognize and we ask ourselves why? Why do these things permeate our culture? Why are these types of things making it and standing the test of time? Um, falling to us in myths and legends and fairy tales. It's because only the fantastic, only significant events in history make it into legend status or make it into the myths and they stand the test of time. And so because subconsciously we remember that Titans once literally existed. This is just symbolic. This is a representation of the actual, uh, the actual things that exist in our world today. The actual things are out there. The mountains, the strange rock formation, uh, strange rock formations, those anomalies that we can't piece together. We say, it, that looks just like a giant's foot or that looks like a giant mushroom. That's so funny. It's because sometimes it is. So I wanted to come here in person. I wanted to examine it so that we don't just get a, a random picture off of Google and say, oh, that's it looks like it, That's that must be what it is. If you have these mud fossils in your area, by all means, go check them out. You know, find out if, as much as you can about them. Find out what they're made out of and um, post some videos about it or send in some examples, things like that. Um, this one happened to be, a, you know, uh, a few hours out of the way from where I live, but my family and I happily traveled out here to come put our hands on it to find out what it's about. Now this one right here, this one was created by man. But why was it created? Why was it put here? Who decided to put a giant lying dead in the middle of a playground? Why is there a giant titan turned into rock, a dead one, in the middle of where a bunch of kids play? I'll tell you why. It's because some of those people that run our world, they know what's happened in our esoteric and hidden past. They understand that the titans once walked our realm the flood came and cataclysm struck, destroying Atlantis and all of the rest of the world. All of that mud and debris washed away and covered all life at that time, and it all petrified. The old titans, the trolls, they all turned into stone, and we see remnants of them from time to time. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to come visit this site in person and share it with you guys. So uh, leave some comments and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.
J Dreamers, think outside the box.